B-E-N-C. Good day, my friends. You know, I gotta tell you something. You know, I hope you guys are having a great day. You know, because sometimes I have those kind of days where I'm not having such a great day. You know, because I allow sometimes other people's impressions, you know, to affect my way of thinking or to affect me for that moment, you know. And in the last several days, I've been coming across people on the internet and and some in my, uh, you know, personal life, in my flesh world, you know, who seem to have this notion that they have to please everyone, you know, come on. <laughs> you can't please everyone, you know. It's like it's like that little song that uh, you hear in the background, you know, by uh, Rick Nelson. You know, can't please everyone, so you have to please yourself. I think the name of that song was uh, Garden Party. So yeah, so look at life like a garden, you know. Yeah, life is like a garden, you know. And beautiful roses and beautiful the smell of the essence of flowers and the sounds of birds. And, Lovers holding hands. You can you look at life that way if you like. That's great. But I'm starting to look at life that there are so many narcissists. There are so many people in this world who are just copying and pasting everything that comes their way. Stop trying to please everyone, especially you guys over there on YouTube, you know, and some of my uh, favorite blogs that I read from time to time. Look, man, life becomes an emotional trap, you know, when you start worrying about what other people think of you. I mean, you buy things you don't need with money you don't have to impress people you don't even like. All because you think you must be liked by everyone in order to be happy. And you need to stop that. I mean, they'll try to measure your worth based on what you have instead of who you are. But you know, I mean, you know better than that. Material things don't matter. So stop chasing the money, man. Catch up to the ideas and activities that make you come alive. Go for the things of greater value, the things money cannot buy. I mean, what should matter is having the strength of character, an honest heart, and a sense of self-worth. If you're lucky enough to have any of these things, well, like I always tell my son, never sell them. Never sell yourself short. Never surrender. Never give up. I mean, the only person you should try to impress and be better than is the person you were yesterday. So prove yourself to only yourself, not to others or to me. I mean, do you really think we care? Really? I mean, most of us don't really care, you know, about who you're trying to impress. Most of us really are envious and jealous of type of people. So you're trying to impress the wrong people. So you need to let go, man, of that foolish need to prove yourself to everyone else. And you'll uh, feel uh, free, you know, to accomplish what matters most to you. Sometimes you have to remind yourself that you don't have to always be and do what everyone else is being and doing. The reality is that in every situation you have ever been in in your life, whether they're positive or negative situations, the only thing that they have in common is you. It is your responsibility and yours alone to recognize that regardless of what has happened up to this point in your life, you are capable of making choices to change your situation or to change you know, the way you think about it. Let others take you as you are. Let them accept you as you are or not at all. Speak your truth, even if your voice shakes or rattles and shakes. Now, that's another song, Rattle and Shake. <laughs> By being true to yourself, you put something breathtaking into the world that was not there before. Okay? You're stunning. You know, when your passion and strength shines through as you follow your own path, when you're undistracted by the opinions of others, you're powerful, man, when you let your mistakes educate you. And your confidence builds from first-hand experiences. When you know you can fall down, then you know you can pick yourself up and move forward without asking for anyone else's permission or better yet, asking for their validation. You don't need anyone to validate your ticket, you know. <laughs> All your happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing that ladder. Now while you're sitting at the top, Enjoy the journey, man, by paying attention to each step. Don't rush through your life and miss it. Forget where everyone else is in relation to you. This isn't a race, man. It's not a competition.
It's a journey. Sometimes we try to uh, show the world that we are flawless in hopes that we will be liked and accepted by everyone. But we can't please everyone. And we shouldn't even try. The beauty of us lies in our vulnerability, our complex emotions, and our authentic imperfections. When we embrace who we are and decide to be authentic instead of who we think others want us to be, we open ourselves up to real relationships, real happiness, and real success. Some people will always tell you what you did wrong, but they'll never, ever, ever take the time to compliment you on what you did right. So don't be one of them and don't put up with them. I mean, when you run into someone who, des- who uh, describes you in a negative way or discredits you or disrespects you and treats you poorly for no apparent reason at all, don't consume yourself with trying to change them more or win their approval. And be sure not to leave any space in your heart to hate them because any bit of hate and aggravation in your heart will only hurt you in the, you know, in the long run. So... Hate ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. We're all on the same boat. We're all here on the same planet. There's no need to put on some form of disguise or masquerade yourself around with a mask. There's no need to pretend to be someone you're not. You have nothing to prove to anyone but yourself. When you find yourself trapped between what moves you and what society's telling you is the right thing for you, well, follow your own heart. Follow what keeps you alive. Follow what is your passion. Unless you want everybody else around you to be happy while you're miserable. I mean, what you're capable of achieving is not a function of what other people think is possible for you. What you're capable of achieving depends entirely on what you choose to do with your time and energy. So stop worrying about what everybody else thinks of you. Because you're not going to please everyone. It is impossible to please everyone. So stop buying, you know, those things that, uh, you know, you can't even afford. You know, stop trying to impress people that don't even like you. As a matter of fact, stop trying to impress people that you don't even like. Or you just want to be part of that clique. So, can't please everyone. So at least... Please yourself. This is your friend Benz. Remember, creep up to the ear of that special someone in your life and whisper gently in their ear how much you truly, truly love them. B-E-N-C!